Hi, Gator here with I Hike Marathons, here to teach you how to make backcountry mashed potatoes and gravy. So today, I've got my stove set up on, it's actually a tin can or an aluminum can with some uh, fuel tablets. Uh, you can use Esbit or whatever, you can even use Sterno or any other type of fuel, it doesn't matter. So if you look inside, I'm just heating up some water. Well, the pot's just starting to steam and get warmed up. For mashed potatoes, you can even get them in bulk if you want. They're just instant potatoes. Just pour some of the water straight on into the package. About two thirds of the way up or so. And then the rest of the water, I've got maybe a little less than a cup left. I'm going to put that back on the burn. Keep that nice and hot. I'm just going to stir up these potatoes real quick. Try not to put your hands where it's super hot. But also make sure to try and get into the corners. The potatoes like to get in the corners. For the gravy, all you need is either flour or cornstarch. I've got flour. I've got probably enough for two different batches. And this will make quite a bit. You can find places on the trail that have um, flour in bulk. So you can just get as much as it looks like in bulk. And then bouillon. You can get a container of it. I've got some non-chicken bouillon because I am vegetarian. You can do the loose thing or these ones are more like pads and there are, you can do one or two depending on how much flour you add. I'll start out with one. I didn't finish mixing my mashed potatoes. didn't add enough water to your mashed potatoes, guess what, they're instant so you can just add more water, even if it's cold, it'll be okay. Set my potatoes to the side. I'm just going to start mixing up the flour and the bouillon and the water. So generally, you want to start mixing up the flour as soon as you start adding it. While you're adding it. You know, sometimes it's a little tricky. It's too liquidy, you can either add more water or let it continue to simmer and it will slowly thicken over time. It's too floury, then you can add more water or add more bouillon for both. Add another half a pad. I have to make enough for two people, so I end up adding two pads in. This is a vegetarian bouillon. Eh. With non chicken flavoring, there is also non beef, or you can add regular chicken or regular beef if you're not vegetarian. If you're gluten free, then you can use cornstarch instead of flour. And that will get the same results. I like gravy with my mashed potatoes because you know, just always do. Much preferred over all the flavorings. 
And a lot of the flavorings all have like bacon or something in them. And vegetarian. Try to avoid as much of that as possible. Yeah, taste. Okay, my gravy is done. Now you have the choice of either just pouring your mashed potatoes into the gravy or just slowly pouring the, the gravy on top. So I'm just going to do pour some on top. And then I'll just keep pouring as I run out of gravy to get farther down. Mine's kind of a white gravy since it's made with non-chicken bouillon. Mm, definitely delicious. Alright, enjoy your meal!